these Mercedes-Benz E-Class wagons a very good property. And this particular car is an E350 wagon and it's a sport edition. It's Cubanite in colour, the Sport came with a body kit and these beautiful multi-spoke wheels. It's an avant-garde Sport. The avant-garde's got the darker timber trim and the white dials. It's done 137,000 kilometres but it's got a perfect Mercedes-Benz service history. You'll have seen in the photos, every single service done on this car has been done at a Mercedes-Benz dealership. It's Bluetooth compatible, it came with Xenon lights. This car would have been about $165,000 when it was new. It's got memory electric seats. The 350 has a 3.5 litre, 200 kilowatt engine with the 7 speed gearbox. It's a 7 seater. It's got the child seats in the back booster seat I should say. The back seats fold down so you've got very good utility. I personally prefer the look of the wagon to the sedan. It just to me looks a lot more substantial. The Sport came with the twin exhaust system at the back there and tailpipes. It's got front and rear parking sensors. There's the very back seats. Since the 1980s they've had a soft close function on the boot so if you don't close it properly it will close. So if I just close it gently, you may not have seen it but it just sucked itself closed. That's for safety so if you, a child gets in the back of the car and they don't have the energy to, or the power to pull it closed properly, it will lock itself. It's got a nice set of Pirelli tyres, I have driven it, it drives beautifully and these do have a very good fuel consumption. I couldn't think of a, a better family car for around $25,000. Reliable, safe, it looks fantastic. It's the top of the range. It's got seven seats, obviously cruise control, xenon lights, speed limiter, climate control, self-leveling suspension. So if you do have seven people in it, the car will always be flat. It's got self-leveling suspension in the rear, which they have also had since the late 1980s, the 124 series. The multi-spoke alloy wheels are in very good condition. The Sport also came with these bucket, more bucket style seats. But basically, there was not really any additional options you could get. If it had Xenon lights, navigation, parking sensors obviously, the sports pedals, memory electric seats, dual zone climate control. The leather is in really good condition and I must say for a family station wagon this car is in particularly good condition. It's a seven seater and you've had a family of six or seven in and out of it for five or ten years it's going to get somewhere but this car is very good. In fact, I'd go as far as that's exceptional. There's a few little marks on the wheels, actually, which we can have fixed pretty cheaply. It's just general, you know, gutter, gutter ration things. But they're a very good looking car, and Mercedes Benz E Class wagons, especially in the bigger V6s, are always worth money. If you, if you look at Mercedes Benz E Class wagons from the late 80s, early 90s, I think you'll get a bit of a shock when you find out what they're asking for them. That's if you can find one. Generally people will buy them and they'll keep them for 10 years or more until they've done three or 400,000 kilometres. So whether you want to buy something like this just to keep you going for the next two or three years and then go into a bigger SUV when kids grow up or whatever, or whether you want to keep it for the long haul, 10 years, 15 years or 20 years, it's up to you, but it does have an incredible service history to it, which is very important, because you can't go back in time and get services done which haven't been completed. So this car has been fully serviced properly up to date. If you want to continue going to the dealer, that's fine. If you want to continue going to a specialist, that's fine as well. Um, but the service history is there. Because these are so reliable, 
some people, unfortunately, just aren't very efficient with getting their cars serviced on time. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We are the Old Timer Centre. Our location is Marrickville, and we're 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Philip Tarrant, and I look forward to hearing from you.